Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Ember series. And today we're going to talk about the Ember helpers. So, in a previous tutorial, we have already used some helpers. For example, in here, we used on helper to trigger the click event and then use the fn helper to invoke the function with the argument. And as you can see here, the on helper is surrounded by the curly brace, but the fn helper is surrounded by the parentheses. That is because uh, on the root level, uh, the helper starts with the curly brace. For any nested helper, it should be surrounded by the parentheses. So let's talk about some built-in helper that Ember provided. For example, the on helper, and then there's some concat helper, get, hash, let, if, unless, and each. So we're going to talk about this one by one. So let's skip the on helper and start talking about the concat. So concat is an Ember helper to help you to concatenate multiple strings. For example, here you can combine the active dash and then uh, the variable that you pass, like the color in here. So it will be a whole string and pass into a class attribute. The next is the get helper. So the first argument in here, this product is the object. And the second argument here is the key, which is the name in here. So the get helper is to help you to get the value with the given key from the object you provided. And in this case, this is exactly the same with this dot product dot name. And we can switch this to a dynamic variable. So this is this dot attribute. So when the attribute is name, you get this dot product dot name. But when we change this to a description, this will be the this dot product dot description. Next, hash helper. It helps you to create the hash with the given key and value pair. What it basically doing is to help you to create the JavaScript object inside your template. This is exactly the same if we just create this object within the JavaScript and then pass this object down into the child component. Next, let helper. It helps you to define the temporary variable inside your template. For example here, we use the contact helper we just learned and then combine the first name and last name into a new variable, which is the fourth name. And we use a keyword as and also the two straight line here to make this happen. Since we normally use this temporary variable inside a block scope, so we need to add a pound sign here to indicate this is an open tag, and then we need a close tag to close this block, and then we can use our foot name inside this block. Don't forget to add a slash here to indicate this is a close tag. Next, if helper the most frequently used helper in Ember. This if is exactly the same with any other if you have seen before. So if the condition is truth, it will return the first value, which is the red in here. If it's falsy, it will return the second value here, which is a black. So your class name will be black. Instead of using if in line, you can also use if as a block. So similar with the let helper, we need to open tag and then close tag and wrap your result inside this block scope. And then we have a else combined with the if. So if it's red, we're going to render the red. Else, we're going to render the black. Guess what? We have else if as well. So if it's a red, it's red. Else if it's a blue, it's a blue. Next one, unless, which is a completely opposite versus the if. So when the condition is falsy, it returns the first value. And if it's a juicy, it returns the second value. And similar to if, it has a block representation. And normally you can use a less as a not if. So in here, which is a if it's not red, give me black. And the unless it can also works with the else. And it can has the else unless. And you can also have the else if, if you want it. The last one, each helper, which is also a highly frequently used helper in Ember. It's like a for loop. So you can give a list or a rate in the first argument, and you can define the name for its entity, which is as item here. And then you can just use an item inside this each block. 
So let's continue on our project. And for now on, we're going to use some fixed data. So let's create a data folder in names product. And let's copy and paste some data in here and import into the item route. Based on the given item ID, we're looking for a specific product from the product list. So let's do product find ID equal to the item ID. And let's console log this product to see what we get. And looks very nice. We get the information we needed and we return this to the model. So we use the first color in the color list as our default color. And we're looking for the image to match the current active color. Then we go to the item route template to replace those hard-coded strings. So let's remove this and we do ember itch. So in here, the model feature is a list of features. So we do mod this model features. And we can set the individual entity within this list as a feature. And we're going to render the feature inside this li tag and save it. You can see everything stayed the same. Next, we'll go back to product slash details component and render the colors based on the given colors list. So first thing we're going to do is to go to the item template and pass the color down to the details. So colors will equal to this model dot colors. And let's go to the product slash details and use ember each in here. Then we copy paste this inside the each block. So here we can use the concat helper we just learned. And then the argument here should be replaced as well. So let's remove this and save it. You can see it's still working as expected. So back into the home page, you can see this is not working and not displayed properly. That is because we didn't pass the data correctly down to those components. So we need to go back to the index route and then import the data here. And we use the model hook to pass the data down to the template. So here we also have a each block. And we pass the product object down to the product component. Then in the product.js, we need to get the image from the pass in object. So the product image is equal to this arcs the product. So we use first color as a default color and use the corresponding image. And here we have the args represents the argument, which is the passing property. That's how we use the passing data inside the JavaScript. Then let's pass this down to the component. After we save it, you can see the image over here. The second image is empty because we didn't import the corresponding image file of the second product. So let's open the public asset image and import that file. And you can see it shows up in here. Next, we need to make sure the product name and also the price display properly. So here we pass the name down to the details component as well as the price. Then we go to the product details template and we replace the string with the pass in value. You can see the name and the price displayed properly. Then we need to go to the item details page and do the similar stuff to make sure the name and price is correct. So let's click on to the details page and then name and price are incorrect and then going back to another page it's still the same because we didn't differentiate the linked id so let's go to the product template and replace the model inside the link to let's go back to the home page again and then click on the second product that's about this tutorial hit the like button if you like it subscribe if you want more so for the next tutorial we're going to continue working on helper and mainly focus on the custom helper. See you next time. Peace.